we're basically uh, making the formal announcement that our products are now available in cans. It's a big deal for us. We've operated as a brewery for three years with our beer only available in kegs and growlers. Uh, the response to that has been overwhelming and uh, there's just been so much demand that we're now packaging it in cans that you can take home and buy in your favorite uh, private liquor store across the province. We spent a good six to seven months just developing the artwork and the design of the cans themselves. So a lot of time and effort goes into that. The response so far has been absolutely overwhelming. But yeah, it is a significant expense. We don't want to be typical. We don't want to be safe. We don't want to be boring. And so uh, we, we, we threw around a lot of different ideas. And uh, we kind of uh, came onto the, the concept of using some kind of traditional tattoo style art. And uh, you know, I think the quality speaks for itself. It's, it's top notch, it's eye catching, it's, it's beautiful. They're works of art in their own right. I was using a different media, I guess, uh, not used to using anything digital. So that was a big jump for me. Um, but it was a lot of fun and it's really opened up a different skill set that I can use for my everyday tattooing as well. So uh, it's been wonderful all around for that reason. So Mark had emailed Adrian and then she had came to me with it and I was on board right away. Um, seemed like a cool idea. Uh, we like the beer here. Um, so yeah, I was into it right away and it's kind of weird actually to see it on a can, uh, but it's cool to see for sure. Uh, and you can like even just random people posting things and um, saying things about the can or whatever and you see it and it's like oh that, that that's your artwork it's kind of cool that way